springs out and set them aside. So I'm pretty sure that these are all backed off because an entire clutch is smoked in it. I'm gonna take them all off one at a time to keep everything together. I'm sure I'm gonna lose a nut at some point. Yeah, the hammer? Yeah, it's right under there. Oh. So that's fun. <clears throat> there we go. Just as I'd planned. Just like I meant to do that. There is a steel clutch steel clutch steel clutch and that would be our culprit right there what do you say there is no clutch here in the middle between these two so that's the what? clutch that got cooked again that was a long time ago So this guy is, it's tapered and or destroyed. I assume it started out as tapered and then just got destroyed later on in life, but that should hold this on. So this whole piece slides off like so. Yeah, so that guy's, he's pretty well burnt up. And these aren't the most expensive clutches on the planet. We don't bush hog that much. That guy's stuck. It's not stuck now. Previously exploded clutch was still in there. She's been a little warm. You can see it. It's been look, look how uh, it's blued. Well, yeah, that does. Look at the chew, the chew on that. And then this clutch is cooked in. Uh huh. So, I mean, they pretty much blew up. The mower got stuck on something. And the tractor's a little big for the mower. We had a comment about that the other day. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, yes. the, the irony was that the day that I was editing the video was the day that you blew that up. Yeah. That's kind of the... That's oh. the risk you take when you really only have one piece of equipment to run... So this is going to need some major cleanup, unfortunately. Mm. It's toasty. I'm going to go up and get my sander, and I'm going to take it I'm basically going to sand all these steel faces back 
as smooth as we could get. Realistically, we probably should have replaced them, but kind of like I was saying earlier, we don't use this a whole hell of a lot. So it's just got to be, it's got to be cleaned up too. And this, so this side, this also will need to be cleaned up and this is attached to the drive shaft. So this is your first clutch or I should say it's the first steel where the first clutch rides. It has to be cleaned up along with the rest of these, so we're going to take the whole drive shaft off the tractor. Just do it at the house, if I can get it off here. So this side is the only side of this steel that makes contact with the clutch. You can see this has just been exposed to the elements, but I'm just going to clean it up, get some of the rust off. clean surface now. That should work just fine, I would imagine. So this kind of gives a good idea of what we're after. So you can see this side's nice and smooth. Most of the the previously burnt clutch is off, but this side still has a lot of ridges. This is what we're trying to get rid of if the uh, camera over there didn't give it good enough justice. But we'll clean all of this up, make it look basically like this side over here. We've gotten as much of the, there's still a little bit there, but we've gotten as much of the exploded clutch disc out of there as we probably need to. If I had a wire brush handy, where we're at now, we just moved over here so we don't have everything set up, but if we had a wire brush, I would probably wire brush this really good to get all that off of there. Just make sure if, if you're doing this, you have safety glasses on for that. And these, these fibrous clutch discs will embed in your eye and that's, that's not good, so. Okay, so finished products, both sides of that look good. That should make a good surface. Eh, there might be a little bit there. Let's clean that up a little bit. So finished product, got nice clean surfaces, nice and smooth. Like I said, before we put this back together, we'll get some of these other big chunks out. But all of these steels now are nice and smooth on both sides. So the mating surface for those clutches, they'll have something consistent to grab. And again, this one, this is just exposed to the elements. This was the clutch side, so we'll go get these put back on. Away we go. Is what clutches should look like so again these aren't very expensive and we'll put the the part number somewhere in here I just got these off of Amazon I think this set was 40 bucks 
give or take a little. So before we go back together, you'll see that we've got, this is the, the yoke on the end. So we've got a steel, there's no clutch. There's no clutch on this side. So we've got the steel that when we were sanding it down, we said was just exposed to the outside world. There's a clutch in there. So there's our first clutch, second steel. Again, just one of the flat ones. This is our second clutch. And then this steel is the one that is shaped so that it goes over the back of the yolk. And we've got a clutch in between that and this housing. And then our final clutch will go on the outside here and it's what presses up against this mating surface here when it goes all back together. So what we're gonna do now, since we've got everything kind of where it is mocked up where it needs to be, we'll go ahead and try to get this pin back in Again, this is a little bit of a bear because it's deformed, but take that guy looking that way. Once you get this spinning, of course, the weight of the blades will want to take it away. So I kind of have to find the right and we'll get this rotated back. Yes. So this is a three quarter inch nut or 19 millimeter, whichever you so choose. So this is 106 foot pounds for this. There's a chart online, we'll try to link it. But it basically tells you, based on the, the bolt size, what the torque spec is for it. Oh. There it goes. Okay, there's this ring that we took off a little bit ago. It just sets right in there. And then the last clutch goes here in between the actual drive line and the, the back plate here. I, I don't know the technical term for that is, but that'll work. So for anybody who doesn't know what a slip clutch is, your the output of your tractor to the gearbox of your implement, in order to keep damage from occurring to the tractor, the gearbox, or the drive shaft itself, they put a sacrificial slip clutch in here. So if something binds up somewhere along the way, the slip clutch dies and in this case it did its job so now what we're going to do we're going to put these in and we're going to try to install them 180 degrees off of one another so bolts in from the back springs and nuts in from the front so i'm going to actually start one back here we got to line these back plates up there we go. So these springs are what holds tension on the whole slip clutch assembly. And you have to actually tighten these springs down to a specific 
specification. Oh, there's two more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this final part, as far as the slip clutch goes, is fairly important. We've got a clutch here. You can barely see it. And then again, back in here is that first steel. This is our second steel, so there's that clutch in there. There's a clutch here. There's a steel here, clutch. And then this is the end of the yoke. So this was the piece that slid in, clutch. And then this is our final, or excuse me, this is the back piece of the drive shaft. So all together, this makes up the slip clutch assembly. And what we need to do now is we need to torque these bolts down. And essentially what we're looking for is the distance of this spring needs to be basically 33.6 millimeters, which we're gonna use a micrometer. And we're going to set this to 33.6 millimeters. And again, this is found online as well. We will try to link where we're getting all this information so that everybody kind of has it. I'm going to just basically bring that in here and we're going to check this spring all the way around as we go to tighten this down. And each one of these has to be exactly the same. So I've set my, my stop here. So when we set it in there, you'll see the spring is still loose. There's still a decent amount of Still a decent amount of play there. So we're gonna do this with a wrench. I don't recommend doing this with a with an impact. And we're gonna to wanna to get all these close and then come back around and double check them. So Garrett, if you wanna hold that up there, we'll just get them kind of close. So we've got a decent little bit to go here. It's pretty close. We can actually back it off just a hair. We're gonna to go to the next one. And this, this is pretty important. I don't recommend taking a shortcut here. Otherwise you'll get slip clutches that wear unevenly. A little more. Tiny bit. Looks pretty good. It's all We've gone all the way around now that the plate and everything is nice and flat and we need to make sure everything's good. So that one actually needs to come just a tiny bit more, tighten it in just a little more. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, once we kind of have done a final check on each one of these, I'm gonna put a mark and you can see I've got marks from the last time we did this. So that was a little overboard, but. So now you can see all of these clutches are all lined up pretty much exactly where they need to be. There's no air gaps. Everything's seated real nice with each other. Everything's very congruent and even. There's no, there's no oddities about it. So that should be exactly where we need to be. We've tested or checked all eight of these. So they're all to spec. So at that point, we're good. Remember we torqued this nut here down to 106 foot pounds. And we'll go ahead and mark it just for posterity. So we will go ahead and put this carrier, this little carrier bearing back in, get it bolted down. And then there's the plate. I don't know where I set it at, but there's a plate that goes on top of there. We will get it put back into place and then clean up and we should be good. And again, this should also be 106 foot pounds because it is also a three quarter inch bolt. Grab the torque wrench. 106 foot pounds. And the last piece that we should have is this cover which unfortunately for me, I only have one bolt for it.
clutches are back in. You wanna go spin it up? Yeah.